I we've already I mean talked about it at length, so I don't really have to. But I mean Becky Lynch versus Nia Jax, great match. Uh, you know I I said it um on Tuesday. I'll say it again. I really feel like Becky is like in her like what 2014, 2015 Seth Rollins era, <laughs> where no, like. Really. Everything she's doing is just so good. Oh, you know what? I would say, okay, this, this, you can swap. You can yeah, swap. no, it's, it's still Becky. Um, so I saw, I think it's from her book. Um, let me see if I can find it because, uh, I want to see like the exact thing. So people obviously have already read snippets and stuff of her book or they're teasing it, whatever. Mm. And, um, I saw this one part that, I really liked because I think a lot of people they had a lot to say about when Becky had come back and she essentially squashed Bianca in like two seconds for the title and people were really mad about it and they were taking it out on Becky specifically <laughs> and yeah, yeah. you know trying to say that she was like abusing her power or whatever and so I was like you know what okay so I can't find the post, but someone. Oh, has... I got it. You have it. You have it here. You sent it in. I'll. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, did I send it to you in a message? Yes, you did. Okay. All right. I'll get um, it. Then. Yes, uh, it's under. It's I under it. the. Oh, I found okay. It. I found it. Got it. Um. Yeah. So it's in her book, and she says that after she squashed Bianca, that she went backstage and saw Bianca crying and feeling like her momentum had been killed, which I think a lot of people felt that way. So I understood to a certain extent obviously why people were upset about it I, i'm not mad I, I don't blame them at all um but she passed it off for being happy for her so becky reassured her that she do it do right by her and her goal was to make sure that bianca had her moment and she gave it back to her at wrestlemania 38 so she confirms in the book that it was not her decision about squashing bianca that was a vince decision and that she had no say like she couldn't change it so yeah. and i think that the way that she like made it up to bianca kind of goes under the radar a bit you know so i think that it was pretty cool with that she talks about it in her book and obviously like there there's probably gonna be more details there than than what that snippet of a tweet says yeah. but i think that it kind of just gives you a new perspective on people because i think a lot of the time the top people in the company get a reputation amongst the fans even if it's not accurate because you know even i'll say like john cena earned a reputation where he even talks about it in promos like oh he has that golden shovel like he's burying another talent he's always pulling strings and blah 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 and it's like that wasn't true most of the time and yeah, it wasn't and even Becky, even though she's at the top of her game, she's at the top of the women's division, she had no say in how she came back and what she did and taking the title off Bianca and whatever. But then she made it a point to be like, okay, I don't like how that went down. So I'm going to make sure that Bianca has like this, the biggest moment ever. And the fact that she wanted to make sure she did it out of WrestleMania, like that's pretty yeah, incredible to me. Yeah, it says a lot about Becky and her character and like being a team player and that it's not all about Becky. And I think that's something that people who aren't the biggest fans of her, they tend to say that online. So, you know, yeah. and I, I always say yes. that I think that the way they feel about Becky is how they should feel about Charlotte. But yeah, a thousand percent. They, they, that's a moment right there that just shows that Becky is the, the real I would say leader and face of the women's division and locker room. Mm -hmm. it's just, that's what makes her the man, you know, things like that, where you see her in a big match now and you say that, okay, this is going to, it's not the golden shovel, whatever it's like. Yeah. And it also does a massive service too to all the Becky haters that once Vince says, has his mind on something, yeah. you're not changing it. It's not like he can't, you can't change the man's mind. Well, and, we and, and so many people before like Becky and Cena, like who had even maybe more pull than either of them, they had to go out and do whatever Vince said a lot of the time. They couldn't change what he wanted. So it's not like we're talking about the height of WCW where Hulk Hogan is deciding on the fly that he doesn't want to take a, take a fall to somebody. You know what I mean? Like that's not <laughs> what that's not is it. happening with Vince. Like 
do you really because I think people don't remember like some of the stuff during the attitude era if we want to talk about that especially like do you really think the women were if we want to talk about the women did you, do you really think they wanted to go out there and do all of that stuff like do you think that they were like yes I I volunteer to go and do this and like act provocatively and do this weird storyline where I'm in love with Vince and whatever do you really think they all wanted to do that or do you think they yeah. were forced you know what I'm saying and I'm not trying to be like no 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 they, they, they like yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I just mean like people are going to do the things that they feel like they have to do because the boss is telling them that they have to do it if they want to keep their career mind you things are probably different now with triple h where they're more collaborative and they're not really doing you know storylines or feuds or whatever that they don't really agree with i'm sure it still happens from time to time because but business is business you got to do what's right for somebody else sometimes it's not the best for you and yeah. um yeah Again. this just is a demonstration i think of becky doing like what she had to do but making sure she did what was right for business and for bianca and i think that's pretty cool 